Welcome to beautiful Winter Garden, Florida, downtown Winter Garden, Florida, right off of Plant Street. That's where we're going to be today, matching up some photographs. And if you would like to visit this place yourself, we're going to be on East Plant Street, Winter Garden, Florida. Now today is going to be matching up some photographs of some of the historical buildings that are here. Winter Garden, established in 1903. And also expect to have more episodes from this historic small town in Central Florida. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Historic Winter Garden, Florida. Let's go match up some photographs. Now, let's take a closer look. Now I am no stranger to this area of Central Florida. Winter Garden is a wonderful little place. A lot of good restaurants here. A lot of cool little stores. It's definitely a good date night area in Central Florida. And I found some old photographs and I want to match them up to some of the buildings here. In a later date, I'm going to come back. There's several museums here. Several things I'm going to be doing. Check out the First Baptist Church here. It's pretty cool architecture, huh? It's pretty old. And straight ahead is the Heritage Museum. The Winter Garden Heritage Foundation and Museum, I should say. I think our first photograph that we're going to match up is right up here. Everything we're going to be doing today, for the most part, is going to be off of East Plant Street, like I said earlier. There's a little plaque up here letting us know we're in the downtown historic district. You can go ahead and pause the video right now and read this if you would like to. I'm going to keep moving. Going to be matching up the first photograph, which was taken right about here on the left-hand side. It was a real estate, which is Still there, still a real estate building. You can see the Gulf sign there, which means it was a service station back here. To the right, that's the Heritage Museum, which is still here, it's the old train station. And you can see the old Edgewater Hotel in the background, which is still there. This is what it looks like current day. So right over here, that building there is the real estate building. The Gulf service station would have been in this parking lot right here. And then this was the train station. And the old Edgewater Hotel was right over there. Used to be a ramp right there in the photograph. It's pretty cool. Progress. But the streets were brick back then, just like they are now. Now, by the way, I'm guessing that photograph was from around the 40s or so. The, the vehicles looked late 40s, early 50s. And there's the caboose straight ahead. You remember in that photograph I was showing you, you would drive up to this building here. And I said that was a, a realtor. Well, this is Southern Heritage Realty. Still, it's a realty, you know, a realtor right there. That's pretty cool, right? And like I said, I will be visiting this Heritage Foundation and Museum very soon. Something to look forward to. This is the old train station here. It's now the Heritage Museum. And this is the caboose here. And this is pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is where the tracks were, but I believe it was exactly where the tracks were. I'm gonna look inside. Let's, let's go, they have a little ramp you can take right here and look inside. There's a little seat right there. A little dining area right here, let's see if I can Lock that glare. Pretty cool. Now, and if you're wondering what railroad station this was, there's a plaque here. This is the 1918 ACL Railroad Depot, built on this side of the birthplace of Winter Garden. It's given to its citizens for a heritage museum in memory of Maud and Jerry Chacon, I believe. But this was the the ACL. Railroad station right here. And this train track, it's 
exactly where it was for the most part and it went all the way down that street. We've got some older vehicles out in front here. It's the old fire depot, the old fire truck. It's awesome, this tractor. Isn't that cool? So this is what it would look like if you were driving this thing. Look at this. Now this is really cool. This is the Fortson tractor as it said on the front. Right here. And they have a plaque talking about it. This model is a four-cylinder engine, signature red and gray exterior. Originally fitted with solid rubber tires, they replaced them with air-filled pneumatic tires. They sold for $295. But I can't wait to bring you guys back. We can learn all about this stuff. Like this is the citrus spray wagon. This is over a hundred years old. We'll learn all about this when I visit the museum very, very soon. Let's match up another photograph. I'm gonna have to get right over here at the clock tower. All right, the second photograph I'm matching is pretty cool. It's the train station and there's actually a train coming into the station. And this is it right here. So where that little caboose is, basically, is kind of in the same spot where the tracks were in the front as you can see in the photograph train stations changed quite a bit since this photo i'm going to say this photo was in the 20s and 30s really cool there was a platform on the the train station and this road was i think just a railroad I don't think you could actually drive through here except for maybe on the opposite side of the road. This is what it looks like current day. So the vehicle was right there in the photograph and there was a little platform you had to step up to there. And the train was right there. So I'm guessing if you were gonna drive your car, you'd be driving on this side of the street and the train would be on this side. It's crazy to think that all of this used to be a train track. Pretty cool. So our next spot's gonna be right here. This is the Edgewater Hotel. Extremely old hotel here in Winter Garden. We're we'll probably doing an entire video just on this hotel in the future because there's so much history here with Major League Baseball and famous actors who stayed here. This place is rumor to be haunted. So this is the best that I can really do. There's a big tree blocking everything, but we're gonna be able to match this up. This is the Edgewater Hotel. I'm gonna say around the 40s. The top of the hotel looks pretty much the same. There's a big tree blocking everything. But the windows and, and everything match up. As you can see in the photograph, they had a sign hanging off the, the side of the building that said Edgewater Hotel. And there was also a sign below that said Postal Telegraph, so you could send telegraphs from here. And this is what it looks like current day. Pretty wild, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. That's so awesome. And this is what we're matching up right here going to insert it into the screen like I've been doing. The building on the left, which is the Wheelworks building now, it's a, a bicycle shop here. And you can see them starting to do the building of the Edgewater Hotel. They were doing the construction. I'm guessing this was back in the 20s. Just looking at the vehicles. And then this is what it looks like current day. The building here looks the same in the photograph for the most part. The Edgewater Hotel was here. And there was a vehicle parked right here where there's a little stage 
they do have people performing here from time to time. So there's a vehicle parked here, and then another vehicle driving on the main road, just like current day. Awesome. I can't wait to take you guys to the Edgewater Hotel, man. There's so much history inside there. And to show you guys what this place looked like when it had the railroad coming down the street with the Edgewater Hotel. I found this photograph here, the train going right in front of the Edgewater, right on the street, right here. You can see in the photograph, there's vehicles and everything driving around those train tracks. It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> Small town, I guess, huh? Pretty cool, that was the ACL Railroad. Now it's the Heritage Museum. And if you're curious, it does still say Edgewater Hotel, and it's a real working and operational hotel. You can stay in this. I love this area right here. All the different restaurants and stores, and then right past these buildings, you get the, the little water tower in the distance. I love it. Now this one was one of my favorites that I found of the old Garden Theater, which is still here. I'm gonna match that photo up once again so you guys can see. Pretty cool truck parked out front. Now I'm gonna check this, this building out because right there was where the Ford sign used to sit. Let's see what this, yes, this was a motor company. Pounds Motor Company constructed in 1926. They sold all kinds of different vehicles and everything here. This is the largest tractor dealership in the southeast U.S. as early as 1918. The Tavares and Gulf Railroad tracks ran behind the business. Tractors and other farm equipment were delivered on railroad flat cars for assembly on the second floor machine shop. So right up there, that was the machine shop. That's pretty cool. A lot of history in this building, man. That's really cool. Now it's an engineering, an engineering place. Burkett Engineering. And excuse the pressure washer here, but I wanted to show you guys the Garden Theater up close. So this place has a lot of history. This is Burkett Engineering, which is the show and ride control engineering, the art of science of making practical application of the pure science to link together and operate multiple show ride entertainment systems. I can see Marty and Doc right there, and that's at George's Music. That DeLorean and music store is on International Drive. This is a photograph of them working on a fireworks show. This is from the Waterworld show at Universal Studios Hollywood. Guessing they worked on that. And they have a, a little train station that goes around right here, a little train track with Burkett Engineering on it. And during the, the weekday at nighttime, you can put your hand against that glass and it'll start this whole thing. They don't do it during the day. But there's some photographs of old buildings through here. I believe that's the photograph we matched up earlier. How awesome, there's some more right down here. A little faded from the sun, but that's cool. That's very cool. Did not know that is what this place was. And give you guys one more look of this place. Huge assembly line up, up top there. And there's still the old garage, you know, the, the doors that open up for shipment and everything. I'm sure there were all kind of vehicles parked here just like they are now. Unreal. Cool history. Very cool history. Now straight ahead is the, the Garden Theater. And in this photograph, this was taken in the 50s. It's a marching band and a full parade. Coming down the street. And it was taken somewhere around in here. You can still see in the photograph the Garden Theater. There's a hardware store next to it. And then Tom Cox Men's and Boys Wear. All that has changed. But the Garden Theater still is here. This is what it looks like current day. 
having a lot of fun walking around here today. A little chilly, but the weather is nice. It's on my side. Hoping you guys are enjoying the, the episode so far. Now I'm gonna step off Plant Street just for a second because I wanna show you guys the Tavares Railroad Station, which is where that engineering company back in the day used to get their shipments from. And now it sits right here. This is the Winter Garden Railroad Museum. You can see the water tower there. I found an old photograph of this. Now we will be visiting this railroad station very soon. There's a nice museum inside. And I want to mash some things up on the inside and take you guys on a full tour. So, I have one photograph to match up right now. Then I'll take you guys over there and show you just a little bit. But I'm saving it for a later date. Plus, they're, they're closed on Sundays and Mondays. So in the photograph, you are seeing the, the train station, the water tower, and the old Winter Garden Power Utility Plant. It's pretty crazy how everything in this photograph kind of looks the same. Water tower has been changed quite a bit. The power plant is no longer there. The building's there, but it's no longer a power plant and has been completely changed. There still is a building there. And this is what it looks like current day. Pretty cool. Just wanted to show this because it ties in with that engineering building we found and just give you guys a little teaser for an upcoming episode. This is home to the Historical Society on Tremaine Street. And this is the Tavares and Gulf Road Railroad, excuse me, depot. So this is the, the depot that the engineering services over there used to get their, their shipments from. How cool is that? And right here, some of the old tracks. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll be back very soon. And by the way, there were two railroad stations here. The first one I showed you earlier, right over here next to the Edgewater Hotel. And don't worry, we're gonna be back to Winter Garden very soon. Several, several things I have planned for this little area. It's a cool little town though. If you're ever wanting to visit some place that's away from the hustle and bustle of the theme parks and touristy areas, check this place out. Well, we came, we saw, we took care of business here today at Plant Street in downtown Winter Garden. This will not be our last visit, mark my words. But our adventure for today has come to an end, which means it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click that thumbs up button. The next time you're here in Winter Garden, tell someone World of Micah sent you. I will see you guys on the next episode very soon. Until then, stay weird, support your local business. Goodbye. Thank you.